Did I exaggerate a lot when I spoke to Manasvi today? Are my mood swings really visible to people or is it just my imagination? Not everybody is happy all the time. Everybody has their up and down days. So am I just going a bit overboard and jumping the gun proclaiming that there's something wrong with me? Well, I knew it was time to see a shrink when I noticed the physical changes in my body, the difficulties in doing day-to-day activities and of course the mood swings. But I was also hoping that a series of counseling sessions would calm my agitated mind and bring it to peace. However, Manasvi feels that I need to see a psychiatrist and start on some medication, which may go on for a couple of years. This is completely unacceptable to me. And did I portray Ganesha in a way Manasvi would think cold-hearted and uncaring? Ganesha is not like that at all. In fact, he's everything a woman would want for a loving friend, a devoted father, loving son, and above all, a very beautiful individual. So then, what is missing in my life? Passion. Passion, romance, and sex. (laughs) I'm just kidding. In a country like India, where arranged marriages happen, looking at the guy's educational qualification and financial stability, where is the time for a parent to even look into the sexual orientation of the guy? The more I think about Manasvi's suggestion that I may need medication, the more determined I am to bring back harmony and peace to my disturbed mind. I'm not going to let some tablets take over my life and decide who I'm going to be. I've promised myself I'm not going to let my mind wander into depression again. At least I'll try and keep all those negative thoughts at bay. Let me imagine my life to be as beautiful as it used to be once upon a time. Let me bring back that charm into my life again. I will not see those depressive days again. Why do I need to be depressed? Why should I be sad about? Don't I have a life half the world would die for? A handsome IIT IIM husband, an adorable son, a loving parent, supportive in-laws, a warm and cozy home that I love, a job that people think I love, and a broad circle of friends who care a lot about me. So then, is it worth living your life regretting that you don't have one silly feeling? Really, is love a silly feeling? No. I am not willing to compromise living a soulless life anymore. And so, I think it's time that I moved on. And move on, must I? Yes, I'm a strong person and I can take the step. And who knows, one day someone even might come along and fill the void again. After all, life is not giving up hope. I think I'm a happy person and I am determined to stay this way forever.